Welcome and let's solve this beautiful radical equation together. It's so easy. Now we're going to begin with our solution. So let's repeat what we have. Root of 2 plus root x is equal to 2. So what you do here is we're going to square both sides. So if we do that, we have root of 2 plus root x all squared is equal to 2 squared. Now, remember at this point, for every a plus b squared, it's always a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if you apply this rule here, this a and this b. So we're going to have root of 2 squared plus 2 multiplies a multiplies our b. Then you have plus our b is root x squared is equal to 2 squared is 2 multiplied 2 times to give us 4. Now keep solving, we have d squared takes the square root 2 plus. For this, just remember for every root a multiplied by root b, it's always root of a multiplied by b, which is root of a b. So we're going to work with these two. So we have 2 into this we multiply to have 2x. Plus, this takes off this, we have x is equal to 4. Keep solving. So, this gives us, let's take this to the right side. So, we're going to have 2 root 2x two is equal to 4. Now, this is positive. If you take it, it's going to be negative 2. Then, this is going to be negative x. And this is equal to 2 root 2x. Two is equal to subtract this, you have 2 minus x. Now, what you do here is to remove this symbol, this radical sign, the square root. We're also going to square both sides. So we're going to have 2 root 2 will be squared and is equal to 2 minus x squared. Now, what do you do? Just remember for every a, b raised to power of m, it's always a raised to power m then b raised to power of m. And for every a minus b raised to power 2, it's always a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So if you apply this rule on this, we are going to have, this gives us 2 with b squared, then we have root of 2x will also be squared. And this is equal to, apply this here, this is a and this is b. So we're going to have 2 squared minus 2 multiplies 2 multiplies x, then plus x is squared. And this gives us 2 squared is 4. This will take up this, so we multiply by 2x is equal to, this gives us 4, and this gives us negative 4x plus x squared. Keep solving. So we now have, if you multiply this, you have 8x is equal to 4 minus 4x plus x squared. Now, you observe that the highest power of this x squared is leading to a quadratic equation. So, we're going to take this to the right side. It's positive. So, it's going to give us, if you remove this, you have 0 left. It's 4 minus 4x. It is going to take negative. So, we have negative 8x plus x squared. So this is the same as 0 is equal to 4. Add this to the, the same terms. This gives us negative 2 of x plus x squared. And this is also the same as x squared minus 2 of x. This sign is positive 4 is equal to 0. Now at this point, let's use our formula. Remember that for every x we have is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now we're going to apply this formula on this, but remember, a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 12. And our c is 4. So if you plug this here, we have x is equal to negative our b is negative, so we have negative 12 plus or minus square root of negative 12 squared minus 4 multiplies a is 1 
and C is 4, divided by 2 multiplies by 1. So keep solving. X is equal to multiply this. We have 12 plus or minus. This will give us positive 144. You multiply this, you have negative 16. Is divided by this gives us 2. So we have x is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of. Subtract this, we have 128 divided by 2. Now we know too well that 128 has a perfect square in it. And you know that 64 multiplied by 2 is what gives us 128. 64 is a perfect square. So in that case, we are going to have. This is the same as x is equal to 12 plus or minus root of 64 multiplied by 2 is divided by 2. Keep solving. And for you to have watched through this point, it shows what we do interesting. Don't forget to like this video. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Helping us to share helps the algorithm to send to more people that need this skill. Let's keep doing this to have. Now remember, for every root of A multiplies by B, like we said, it's root of A multiplied by root of B. So if you apply it here, we have X is equal to 12 plus or minus root of 64 multiplied by root of 2 is divided by 2. So we have X is 12 plus or minus. This gives us 8 root 2 divided by 2. So at this point, 2 can divide each of the numerators. So this is what we have, divide by 2. So in that case, we have x is equal to, divide this, you have 6 plus or minus, divide this, you have 4 root 2. So this gives us the two values of x. Now we're going to do a verification. Plug this value of x on the left side to see if it gives us 2. And that is the most interesting part. I wouldn't want it to miss. Let's verify this together to have. To verify, we are going to work with the positive first. So we are working with 6 plus 4 root 2. Now what do we do? We are going to plug this here. So we are going to have root 2 plus square root of 6 plus 4 root 2. Is this equal to 2? Now you see that we have square root of roots. It's so easy. How do you simplify this? Just remember this. For every root of P plus Q root M, it is equal to root of A plus root of B, provided that this Q is equal to 2. And also, let's write it by the side, that Q is equal to 2. And this M will now be A multiplied by B. These two numbers you have in the root, when you multiply them, it gives you M. And when you add the same two numbers, it gives you P. So with this condition, let's see how to apply it on the above. Now looking at this, this is the same as root of 2 plus root of 6. Now we're going to adjust this. You see we have 4. And 4 is the same as 2 times 2. We want to make this 4 to be 2 to suit this condition. So if we are doing that, if 4 is 2 times 2, we can have it that this is the same as 2 multiplied by 2 root 2. Did you see that? So keep, solve, keep simplifying. We have root 2 plus square root of 6 plus. Now this 2 here. We are going to take it inside the roots. Remember, it is square root of 4 that gives you these two out. So if you are taking this back to the root, you are going to square. So we are going to have 2 multiplied by, if it goes in, we have 2 squared, then multiplied by these two. Did you see that? So keep simplifying. So we have it as root of 2 plus square root of 6 plus, we have 2 root, this gives us 4 times 2 is 8. Now we know that 8 can be written as 4 and 2 multiplied. And when you add 4 and 2, it gives you back 6. And you see what we have here is 2, just like what we have stated. So we are going to now have root of 2 plus, if this satisfies this, it should be equal to this. So this is 4 and this is 2. So we're going to have root 4 
plus root 2. Keep simplifying, we have root 2 plus, this gives us 2 plus root 2. Add this, you know, the coefficients are 1. This will give us 2 root 2 plus 2. And this is not equal to what we have at the right side. So it means that we are rejecting the x value we have as 6 plus 4 root 2. We are rejecting it. Now let's check for the second value of x to have. So when x is 6 minus 4 root 2, let's plug this also to see what we have. So we're going to have root 2 plus square root of 6 minus 4 root 2. Is this going to be equal to 2? Now, quickly, we have root of 2 plus, remember, we simplify this and it gave us root of, this is the same as square root of 6 minus 2 root 8. Now, keep simplifying, we have root 2 plus, from here, repeat the same thing. So, it's going to give us square root of 4 minus root 2. And is this still going to give us 2? We are going to have root of 2 plus, this gives us 2 minus root 2. This gives us root 2 minus root 2 is gone, and we are left with 2. And 2 is equal to what we have at the right side. So it means that x value we got as 6 minus 4 root 2 is absolutely correct. And I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to tell us how much. I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comments. Thank you for choosing to lend to us. And don't forget to give this a like. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.